Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick first impressions video for you. We are outside, which tells you that we're looking at a fixed blade. It's this fixed blade right here, the SE Hunglus. Let me pop this out of the sheath for you, but I wanted to give you a quick look in the sheath before. So there you go. You can see the SE logo there. And as you see, like this is brand, brand new. I haven't had any time to do anything with it yet. So this truly is a first impression. I have wanted to get my hands on one of these for a long time. Uh, ever since I got this knife right here, which if you've been around the channel for any length of time you're familiar with, this of course is the Becker BK9. Let me give you a quick side-by-side -side on these two. There we go. So you can see the, the Hunglus is a little bigger, about, well, actually a lot bigger, about an inch and a half to two inches larger. Let me give you the specs on this before we carry on here. Uh, by the way, I'll apologize for the sound. Uh, like the a video I made a little couple, a day or so ago, I've, I've been messing with my sound setup and I don't have all of my usual uh, setup available. So again, I'll apologize for that in advance. So let's see, we'll get this guy in frame and give you a quick rundown. So what we have here is 1095 coated micarta handle, kydex sheath, 10 and a half inch blade, 16 and a half inches overall, large, comfortable canvas micarta handle, and 3 16 on the blade stock. Um, so let me switch the camera around and I'll take a couple swings at uh, first some small stuff. You see some of this stuff here, I wanted to cut that since this is actually, it's built as a machete rather than sort of a survival knife. Uh, so we'll use it a little bit as a machete and then we'll do some chopping as well. Okay, so I think I've got you set up good to see how this works as a machete. I'm just gonna do some light chopping. First on some of these, well, that just broke it off. Let's give, give this an upstroke and see how this cuts. Uh, not too bad. Try this again. Oh, I'm sorry, I might be out of frame there in those last couple of cuts. Anyway, um, certainly a thicker blade stock um, reminds me of the um, K-Bar. I mean, reminds me of the Kershaw. This is the Camp 18. Much, much longer. Let's see. There we go, much longer option as you can see there. This you can see being a little easier to manage, but there's a lot more weight here and you can really get a lot of heft behind your swing. Uh, just to demonstrate, I don't know if you could see that or not. Let's see, I'll do it up here. So there's the uh, Camp 18. There's the Hunglus doing sort of machete type stuff. Uh, I want to do a couple, a uh, little bit of chopping as well. Let me just see. There's a dead tree that you can just see in the back there. I'm going to move the camera one more time. All right, just a couple of quick chops here with the Hunglus. Here's the, uh, I don't have enough room to swing this properly. You know, I had hoped for a really nice shot of both of those sitting in the tree. I guess you're not gonna get that. Um, you know, the, the SE is a little easier to swing because it's a little bit lighter. Let me move this camera around again. Um, because it's a little bit lighter, it is easier to swing. However, um, you're gonna get a lot more chopping power out of the Camp 10. 
Camp 18, I'm sorry, Kershaw Camp 18, you're gonna have to move down still another step if you drop down to the Becker BK9. I'll have a longer discussion of all of this in the full review, but let's zoom in for one final shot on the SC there, nicely hanging out in that tree. By the way, if you want one of these before I shut things down, head over to White Mountain Knives. There's a link in the description. If they don't have what you want, DLT Trading is a great spot for uh, fixed blades. One of my favorite spots for fixed blades, in fact. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will talk to you soon.